Good evening, everyone. What a privilege it is to stand before you in representation of our wonderful Tender Care Training School. We wouldn't be here today if we were not caring, compassionate people. Now we just have to make sure we memorize that blue book, the blue Bible, to pass our state board. <laughs> And I believe in the Holy Bible as well. And on the first day of school, I wrote all of your names down along with our instructors and our classmates in my prayer book. And I prayed over it daily. And wow, we're graduating. <laughs> now, Barbara, you have to honor your promise to him to stop smoking. <laughs> I can't say thank you enough to Mrs. Harris, Ms. Donnie, and Mr. Beasley. They're all truly intelligent, inspiring people who not only care for patients, but students as well. I pepper Ms. Bonnie with at least a million questions, and ever so patiently she gave me that look, just like she always does, and says, Wendy, let's not overthink things. <laughs> but thanks to all of our guests who made our night special with your presence. Thanks to Mom for writing the check. <laughs> And thanks to my husband, Mitchell, and my two teenage sons for patiently enduring another night of hot dogs and baked beans as we took part in the night class. Thanks to all my classmates. I've had an awesome experience meeting you from all different walks of life. LaToya, I really appreciate you helping me catch Miss Iggy. When in a moment of extreme nervousness, I almost flipped her over the bed rail during perineal care. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Miss Iggy is our lab practice mannequin. I have the book smarts, I just need a little help in the common sense department. Thank you, Samantha and Sarah. I can't tell you how many times they whispered, Wendy, let the bed rail down. <laughs> or dirty, dirty, meaning wash your hands just one more time. We've all worked extremely hard and now have visions of our future and amazing times ahead of us. If I could share a few inspirational comments, they would be to always have compassion for other people. In 1 Peter 3 8, Jesus said, Be of one mind, having compassion, one of another, love and sympathy and courtesy. We never know what someone's going through. We never know what cost they might have to bear. We're all in this together. Smile a lot. Be nice to everyone you meet. Have a generous heart and kind speech. Put your heart into everything you do. And be passionate, then you'll accomplish your goals that you care about. And you'll truly make a difference. Toy, I can't wait to read that book you're going to write. Justin, I'm going to look you up after you become a family practice physician since now you have a good best manner. <laughs> Francis and Barbara, you're going to have the greatest personal care homes around. In closing, I just wanted to share a short story that makes all the hard CNA work worthwhile. During our clinicals, I had a very disgruntled patient. And as I took care of his physical needs, he grumbled and complained and really acted angry. I just wanted to make him smile, but how? Just a few doors down, a new patient was admitted, and he was a very happy-go-lucky guy who went around out of boredom helping me do my job. I listened to their war stories as well as my not-so-happy patient's war story. It was amazing. They seemed to be telling the same exact story. They each told of a war buddy they traveled around the world with and whose families were friends. And they both at different times told me how they each had had the same first name, which was Samuel. They described each other perfectly, and I thought, well, what, is it possible? I just couldn't believe it. So later, the happy Samuel's wife visited, and I told her their stories and my thoughts, and she confirmed what I suspected. I had the awesome privilege of reuniting the two lifetime buddies and their family. Sad Samuel was smiling from ear to ear and was so excited, and happy Samuel and his wife and I were all crying. It was such a God moment, a very moving experience. Maya Angelou said, if you find it in your heart to care for somebody else, you will have succeeded. And I wish you all immeasurable success in your health care careers. God bless you all.